welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity, the White Modge. In uh, this episode, we're going to once again attempt to not just get absolutely, totally, and utterly wrecked like we have been doing in the past. Your There's been a medium to large deep, amount of deep. getting wrecked that's been happening. And I have not been the largest fan of that scenario right. playing out. Over with e mock possibly hiding. Everybody else in a somewhat not terrible spot. Okay. So we're going to move here. And then I'm going to step forward. And attempt very, very, very hard to slaughter you. Going to do that. Ethumach, you're going to come over here. Durance, you're going to step forward and do Durance type thing. And what are we looking at? We're looking at you being able to do this very, very, very soon. Okay, we're going to do that. You are going to soak some of the damage. I am going to... I don't know, maybe just do this? It seems like a potential okay stuff. Hey, 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 Itamak, what are you doing, buddy? Get, get back. Itamak, you idiot. Okay, whatever. God, you're dumb. You're a dumb animal, Itumak. You are a dumb, dumb animal. Alright. How are you still not able to... Do stuff. There we go. Now. Now you can finally do some stuff. Do that. I guess we'll cast this horrible spell. Turn you into... The, the giant pig of doom. E2 mock dies. My mind. He dares gonna actually move over here. As we take on the mantle of doing this. I'm going to stand here and attack. While you just make your speedy way over there. Meanwhile, you two need to make sure you're still shooting things. Okay, so you made your way over there. That's excellent. And at this point, pretty much everyone needs to get into the room. Alright, you go after that guy. You... Go over here and cast on that one. And the rest of you just, I guess, murder this guy? I, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty straightforward at this point. So that went much better than the last couple attempts here. Yeah, I really like that cipher ability. That's a really strong skill. I'm glad we have that one. I shall. I'm sure there's much, much better ones, but that one for sure, so far, has proven to be my favorite. Let's keep quiet. And we did much better. Itumak, while not super useful right now, here, I shall is soaking at least some damage. So I mean, that's that's good. There is a desk over here that's potentially trapped. Go, my my chime clad gal. Go. Requires a lore of eight. And you have that, right? Yeah, you do. Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. They do. Yes. Oh yes, I am a deep thinker. I think about wells and chasms and pits and canyons all the time. Deep, deep think now? Okay. I apologize. It was not very good. I know. Nothing going on over here? What do you see, Ithumak? Another hor- ooh, a preacher. Another horrible, horrible battle that's going to ensue. Huh. I'm actually curious Indeed. as to whether or not we can maybe pull them over here. I'm here. It does seem questionable yes. at best, but not necessarily I'm in here. a bad way. Hmm. I'm here. E2 Mach, can you get like way over here? Hey.
All right. So that's going to be the plan. I'm here. Try to hold All them right, right here. Okay. So everyone's kind of getting into position. I'm going to actually move over this way. And I forget I was going to do this stronghold thing. I'll have to do that after we finish the combatual agreements that we are faced with here. You too, Mach. Can you get over there and do stuff? And... Even before you do that, what are our chances of laser lasering down people without murdering our own? Pretty decent right this second. There we go. That's what I want to see. Alright, now everybody go and do the horrible stuff that you're going to do. Are you Durance? You are not Durance. Durance, scoot in there a little bit closer, buddy. Do this. Okay, and... Do that. And she is about ready to do other terrible things. I don't know if she can shoot from this point. Come on, can you get behind over here and attack? I, I feel like, oh, he there is actually really, really, really close to not being alive anymore. I didn't realize he was as hurt as he is. I'm not real sure what happened to him. But I do apologize for that. That looks like he's definitely going to be going down. I mean, I can try to face him out of existence, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, maybe, but doubtful. Yeah. Definitely doubtful. Well, it wasn't looking too bad, and then whoopsie! Our tank actually did not tank very well for the change. Come on, fanatic. All right, there we go. I'm here. That was a bit surprising. What was his wound here? Ooh, that's that's gonna be a problem. It's okay. I shall. It's okay. And what does the flame reveal? Well, I kind of went all in on that one a little bit, and it worked out quite quite well, well actually. Like, what you ask I'm is done. Mildly impressed at how well that all went down, but in the end, it really wasn't enough. Even still. All right, not sure what's going to happen here. We're going to go ahead and save. But we'll still live with whatever the consequences are. The path ends at a precipice. The remains of a ruined bridge lie on the other side of the chasm. Inspect the area. The darkness below continues as far as you can see. Broken stone pillars, remnants of the missing bridge, rise from the abyss. Across the gap, you think you see a long stone bridge. Okay, wooden beams protrude from the stones on either side of the chasm. Despite their age, they look sturdy enough to hold a grappling hook and a rope. The path ends in the precipice, blah, 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 on the ruined side near the chasm. Uh, toss your rope and grappling hook across the chasm. You aim for the beams on the opposite side. Hurl across. It's nice on one of the beams digging into the wood as you pull. With a couple of firm tugs, you determine that the connection is secure. You tie the free end of the rope to one of the beams next to you. Okay. Shimmy across the chasm. Boy, this seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? The rope remains taut under your weight, but you feel the tension and vibration of every movement as you shimmy across. Groans and creaks of the wooden beams echo in the abyss. You keep your progress slow and steady. The sound of labored breathing echoes across the chasm. A player named Gus, grieving mother, Sagani, and Aloth are tiring. You reach the other side, safe but exhausted. Oh. And apparently you were thrust immediately into battle. This could go poorly. Not necessarily, but it could go poorly. Alright, what do we have? I think I'm going to... Mm, that seems like a bad idea. I'm going to cast this on me? Yes. Yeah! 
Ooh. Darn's buddy, what's going on, man? Is Itumak working for the enemy team right now? I feel like he is. I feel like that's not going super well for us, but don't fret too much yet. We still have a bit of stuff we can do here. Um, I'm gonna say we do one of these. Ready, Richard. And I'm also going to say that I'm going to throw a relatively decent heal to myself. And we're gonna go ahead and heal ourselves again. As long as he doesn't die, it's not too, too bad. Itumak, get there. Get stuff handled. We're slightly exhausted, but that's okay. Itumak, do your job. You wound him. Wound him greatly. Oh wow, we slaughtered him. Okay. That's per rest. That's fine. We're probably gonna end up having to rest anyway since everybody got exhausted with that. Well, either way, we made it across. I mean, that's kind of cool. Indeed. Ah, oh, there's still more things lurking in the outskirts. Oh, we got a we got a pistol that's actually decent now. That looks like that leads to somewhere we may or may not want to. To go? I don't know. They seem to know that we're here. I think maybe we should do another rest. I know we're burning through this pretty quickly. I'm definitely not getting the most out of each and every rest, but still, there's something to be said about all this. Okay, so let's go here. And it looks like. Something was supposed to have happened, right? Attempted to deal with the angry peasants on his land with force. This show of cruelty inflamed the residents, and Lord Birn Wigar was overthrown and killed. Yes, I, I'm, I'm assuming and hoping that's a good thing. It seems like it's a good thing. And someone showed up, and they want employment. That's that's fine. How close are we to finishing our five hours? Well, we know there's a group of baddies down here. At least a singular baddie. Possibly some baddies over here. And I do not know what's over here, but it looks like it could potentially be the worst of everything. Because that looks like kind of like a bloody altar. So like I, I said, I don't know what to really expect at this point, but I am going to trigger the fanatic. And it looks like the fanatic's alone, so I mean, if that's the case... I am all for finishing the fanatic. Let's switch our weapon so we can actually stab the fool. My mind feels sharp as steel. There we go. That's all right. I'll take it. Of course. Some interesting bits and bobbles and bobs and things, and it's, it's all good. Maybe. Oh, some more camping supplies. Very good. All right, so that's potentially going to be disastrous going inside this room. Hey. I am going to go inside the room though. Cuz I like I'm actually hoping that it's only the two of them and I it looks like I was right. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. Is Itumak frozen or sleeping? Or... Oh, he's stuck. Okay. Like, what's going on with the, with the old the old Itumakian, huh? What's he doing? What's going on there, buddy? All right. Well, it looks like when there's not a million other people, I, I'm assuming they did a lot of healing. Oh, we disengaged somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Okay. All right, we knocked Leave him down you. and pretty much just finishing everything up. We even gibbed him there. Shh. We have so many things that we're going to be able to sell. It's going to be a glorious, glorious day for us. 
This place this is may whoa. Prove this place is quite expansive. Any chance of actually disarming this one? See, I don't know if there's like a chance or if her skill just isn't high enough. Is it like every time you attempt it, you're going to succeed if your skill's high enough? Or is that not how this works? Because I feel like I have not been able to disarm a lot of the stuff that's just on the ground. I've been able to disarm a lot of other traps, boxes and things. Not all of them, mind you, but a decent amount. Oh my god, there's so many. So many. Okay. Some treasure loot there. Oh, there's a sentry. Oh boy. Hey guys, look what I found. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Okay, we'll, we'll put everyone back under her again. That was crazy. Not unenjoyable, but still cray cray. Oh, we're also going to do a quick save here. Oh boy. Oh no. There's bound to be. Oh, uh oh. Oh, I didn't plan on this one going this way. Stop shooting me through walls. Eh. Okay, this is not going well. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I think we can probably pretty safely cast that there. Yes. Get you down here, and surprise, surprise, they're all showing up. However, we still have problems. And those problems are she is in the way, like, she's in a bad spot. I gotta make sure that nobody walks. In the wrong area here. And then it just dies. Okay. So the cultist is there. We're gonna do this. You're gonna back away. You're gonna back away. You two mock. You're probably gonna go after her. Like, you two mock's on the trap. How is this not... You know, it... I, I don't care. It's fine. It's weird. But it's It's fine. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh, you're trying to sh you're trying to disarm the trap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna have Etumak go and trigger the traps, which apparently he cannot do. Huh. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, like that's really, 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 really smart from the developer's standpoint. I like mm -hmm. that. That's a really good good call there. Skulls have been lashed to this wooden effigy. Eh, well, we know about the effigies, don't we? All right, some loot to be had there. Your thoughts must flow deeply, indeed. I'm gonna move up here. I guess Etumak can come join. Hmm. Oh darn. I've reached my limit. Well, that didn't feel good. I'm like, I feel like this is gonna hit me. Yup. Mm -hmm. It did. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever, we got past the dangerous trap, right? And there's no permanent wounding, so... I guess that's fine. What? Just, again, one of my biggest Come problems in help. most games is I'm super impatient with stuff. This is no different. I didn't want to take the time to individually move yes. every single person, so what do I get? A trap to the face. Is it ideal? No. Should it have happened? Probably not. Did it happen? Of course it did. This is me we're talking about. My impatience shows very, very many bad things happening to me. Okay, well... 
So it stands right now. There's nothing that way. There's a whole bunch of bad stuff that way, though. Um, hmm. I'm curious. Yes. Can I cast? I can't cast that. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can't get E2 Mach to upset things. Uh, yeah, I guess you two are gonna kind of hey. be the frontliners. Just head up there, and then the rest of you guys do whatever it is you guys do. Hey. All right, so here we are. It is about time for me to do this here thing, which is going to be tremendously painful and very unsatisfying. I believe I'm going to do this. Aloth. I don't know where you're at right now. Oh, you're, you're the one that's over there. Okay. I'm going to focus on Cultist. And I am going to cast this horrible spell onto you. Durance is going to go ahead and throw out some heals. Did I just die? No, Durance just died. What? How? How did he get killed? I'm actually very confused right now. Like, what killed him? Sorry, guys and gals, we need to look at this. Did they just throw that much AoE? Oh, I did die. I got second chance brought right back up. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Twenty three point one freeze damage. It hit everybody and it just melted our faces. Oh my goodness. Well that was unexpected. Not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised by all that, and I apologize, folks. Well, I, again, I feel like I, I've been consistently getting better with everything that I've been doing, but now I'm not so positive that's actually the case. Why are you moving? I don't want you to move, I want Itumak to move. Because Itumak is dead, that's why you're running back and forth. With me. Okay, well that makes sense. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cast this. i once again pull this. I'll throw a heal. I guess I'm going to do this. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty bad, not going to lie. Eh... So let's do this. Okay, so we kind of annihilated that. Let's go back over here to good old... See, I'm just like... Every fight now, it's like I, I get laid out every time. This is not great. Um, another AoE heal. Boys need to take care of this. Do a wounding shot, that would be fantastic. That was painful and unsatisfying. Can we do it again? And by can we do it again? I mean, can we never do that ever again as long as we exist in the world? Oh, good. No, that just annihilated. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm going to cast this. I guess Adair's gonna cast this. And we're just gonna be like, hey, this is super fun times. Hey. Please, for the love of Jiminy Cricket, kill that cultist. I'm having a hard time clicking on the cultist. There we go. I think I got him clicked. Holy heck. Okay. So that's done. Let's move you up. Sure. Let's go ahead and get you to throw some more healing. I'm not sure how every fight seems to go so drastically different each and every battle. I mean, it's fine. It just seems odd. 
Let's try out Soul Shock. Eh, it's a bit underwhelming. I don't know that I can necessarily get away from this. Well, I should be able to. If I can cast this. Haha, <laughs> I'm safe for now. I don't know. How long does that last? Oh, for a long time. Okay. So we actually have the potential to survive this now. Okay. We just have to somehow actually land attacks on people, which is proving to be difficult. Okay, we're kind of doing it. Not sure that we'll have it done by the time we need to, though. Let's cast it there. I go we knocked him away. Can we stop him? No. Nope. Not entirely. Come on, boys and girls, we've got this. I am no longer able to survive unless... Ah, there it is. I've done it. I have done it. What does this do? Making them easier targets? Okay. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, we don't really have much else going our way, so... Causing pierce damage. Sure. I'd rather not walk mm -hmm. forward. Alright, I'm gonna cast another horrible spell. I'd like to see how these deer antler things work, too. They didn't seem to do anything, at least not yet. Stab him, kill him, kill him, hurt him, hurt him. What a what a messy battle. So they just like nuked us down with like those big AoE those big orbs that they shot down the hallway. That just murdered like our healer and like everybody just took massive damage from that. I didn't even realize that that was a possibility. Those didn't seem to really do that much damage earlier on in the in the previous battles, but. Boy, howdy, was I wrong this time around. It was, uh, it was something special. On the trail. And something painful. But either way, we managed to survive it yet again. Very close this time around, but we did it. We used a few extra spells and skills. I'm sure I drive a few people crazy. I'm sure there's a lot easier ways of doing the things that I've been doing so far. But, well, for now it is what it is. We're gonna take another rest. More nightmares ensue, apparently. And it looks like our courtyard is complete, so we can do some more stuff. He's assigned. He's got three days and 18 hours left before he's done doing that. That is a bit unfortunate. All right, so everything's done down here. Everything needs the bailey for the next step, except for the library and the towers. Uh, got a perception bonus. A library lore bonus. Okay, I'm going to go with the tower. Okay, so theoretically we're going to be okay moving forward. So there's been some pretty intense and tough battles, but we'll see, like I said, as we move, exactly what's left. This seems to be the temple itself. So this is the temple proper here. That's probably going to be the hardest of the battles. There does seem to be some doors there maybe, so maybe I'm wrong and this is going to be the scary, scary bad spot. Either way, we'll continue to move forward. If we run into a spot we can't continue or push forward anymore at, we'll go somewhere else and we'll do something entirely different and cool and special and unique and awesome and whatever. But yeah, no, overall, this is a massive area, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. This is quite a large underground area. There's very little left of it for us to explore, though, so I guess that's good. 
Either way, folks, that's a tale for another time. We are out of time for this episode, so I guess I will see you next time with more Pillars of Eternity, The White March, which we're still not technically into yet, but you, you get the idea. The Definitive Edition. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs> <laughs>